in the, in the sense that they would do something this horrific. But you would also uh, wonder if they would be concerned that you're at an international event, you're near the finish line, and there has to be all kind of videos and cameras all over the place that could pick something up. Would investigators be combing through as quickly as they can every video and every street video and any kind of video that was possible around that area of pedestrians, of spectators, of other runners? Yeah, this is, you will hear very quickly a call go out from the FBI, the Boston Police and other agencies asking anyone who had an iPhone, a video camera, anybody who took pictures at all the morning prior to the race or at the time of the race, anybody who had that, please come to investigators. Al, they'll have dedicated groups of police officers and federal agents that will sit there and review these phones looking for some indication. If they if we have two different devices planted uh, probably within the length of a football field apart from each other, somebody had to physically set that device down. One person, two people, this is what we need. There will be photographic evidence that shows this person or persons setting these devices down. We just have to get our hands on this film and we have to get our hands on it on these pictures as quick as we can before this person perhaps if he or she or they are not from the area before they get away. You made the point earlier that I think is important. The uh, FAA stopped air traffic coming in and out of Boston. That's right. out of concern, of course, for safety. And it's also to make sure if we've got a bomber who's trying to get out of town, we're not going to help him by letting him jump on a plane and fly out of town right now. We want a time to be on our side, not the bad guy's side. Now, in, in, in light of what you said uh, uh, a few moments ago, that would mean anyone watching this program that was around the marathon today at all, no footage, no cell phone picture, nothing is unimportant. Am I correct? You're absolutely correct. Somebody within uh, ear sight or earshot of your program right now, somebody in Boston, somebody watching this has got uh, video footage or still footage pictures that's going to show now, show something. Now, Al, it may just be one shot of somebody sitting a bag or something down, but if another person, the next 500 people we interview, somebody else comes up with another camera, we see the same guy, the same t-shirt, the same baseball cap, putting down a similar type of bag. We've got the bomber. Now all we got to do is match the photo up to uh, whoever this guy is and get him in custody. Law enforcement are doing interviews right now of people who may know something. They may develop this in the suspects. This is a solvable case, Al. The type of person who would do something like this would talk about it. If he had a grudge against government, society, he would talk about it. This is somebody who would take joy in seeing other other bombings that have taken place. This is likely not an original thinker, but somebody yeah. who's copied the actions of others. That's all going to help law enforcement and profilers when they start to look at who would be capable of this horrific action. Clint Van Zandt, thank you very much for joining me tonight. Joining me now by phone is Universal Sports Dean Walker. He was covering the race today, and he was right at the finish line. Thanks for coming on the show, Dean. Hi, Al. Can you tell us what did you see? Well, at the time that we, the first device uh, went off, we were in between our shows. We had just wrapped up our show covering the elite runners that were on the course, and we were preparing for our 4 p.m. wrap-up show. Uh, I was currently in the, the production truck that was on the south side of Boylston and Ex Exeter, and we were probably uh, about uh, 75 to 100 feet away from the, the first explosion. Um, that first explosion explosion went off um, very loud, rocked the truck violently. Um, at that time, I turned to our video monitors, and about 10 seconds later, I saw the second explosion go off. Um, the thing that like you were talking about earlier about cameras and being able to capture footage, um, we do know that since that time, you're immediately evacuated. 
evicted from our production trucks and cleared from the area. But since that time, police have gone into our production trucks and looked to see if we have any footage of, of what actually happened.